Hey, what's up? It's Frankie here. I want to talk about targeting buyers with YouTube ads. Let's get into that. Whew. A little hot. I had to set up for camping. There's my Zelda B playing here. We're down at La Ventana, Mexico. Just thinking of you guys, thinking about how you could uh, turn on the YouTube machine. And this is a principle you guys have heard me talk about before if you've been following me a little while. If you're new, you should pay attention to this shit. That is, how can you get in front of the people who are buying in the most likely buyer? And I've got a little bit of a story here for you. I want you to imagine for a second um, that what you do is the equivalent of selling shoes. I'll tell you what most people in their agency do. Is they chase people who are metaphorically barefoot. Because, right, like they're barefoot, they need shoes. They don't have fancy old man shoes <laughs> like me. I actually got these from a German grandpa. And they were brand new like a month ago. You can see I'm sweaty. So, I want you to compare that to somebody who has a closet full of 200 shoes. Now, logically, there's a part of our brains that thinks about the people who most need our services, which are the people who are barefoot, by the way, the people who are struggling, people who you know, certainly are getting thorns in the feet. But in actuality, those are the people that are the least likely to buy, and you actually have two sales to make. The first is that they should market at all. The two is that they should use you. And those are actually two distinct different sales, and you gotta make them both. And they're both uphill because if they don't market, you gotta, that's an uphill battle all in itself. And if they do, then you gotta convince them you're the right person. Now compare that to somebody who's got a closet full of shoes, by the way. Those conversations are a lot shorter. They're like, hey, do you have Nike pumps? All right, I'm interested, right? They're just interested in the newest, greatest shoe. There's not a lot of uh, discussion about it. They're gonna keep buying shoes for the rest of their lives. They're gonna keep buying marketing services and they know some will work out and some won't. So now let's take this down to the level of your YouTube ads. So I just set up a campaign today. And one of the things, it's, it's relatively easy to target lawyers on YouTube, I could just type in words like attorney and attorney marketing and I could get in front of a whole bunch of lawyers, there's one and a half million of them, just in America alone. But I decided to dramatically narrow my buyers list. And what I did is I thought about, well, who is most likely to buy shoes? And the answer is people who are already buying shoes. So there's a couple really high-end expensive SEO firms that I know are charging 10 to 15 grand a month. So I said, YouTube, show my ads in front of their channel. Also got a couple other channels that do, for example, legal financing, where the big firms, they do a lot of cases and a lot of volume, they need money to manage all that. And so I put it in front of a few of those. Also put it in front of some people who do referrals and newsletter kind of things. And again, these aren't huge channels, but I know that if you're following a guy who has a $15,000 a month SEO service, you're got a pretty high chance that you're buying shoes. So this actually dramatically shrinks the amount of people you're trying to reach, but dramatically improves your results when you think about this targeting. Because instead of trying to think, how can I get in front of every lawyer or whoever that is in your niche? Oh, Zelda B, my poor Zelda B. Oh, did you get a spiky in the foot? She's tired too. We might have to cut this video a little bit. Cool, you got a spiky. Come here, Papa. Papa will pick you up. This is why we wear shoes, honey. Where'd your shoes go? Oh. You got a spiky in the foot, honey. Yeah, it's some pretty serious stuff here. Yeah, let's go see mommy. So for you guys who want to dramatically improve your results, instead of thinking about how can I get in front of millions and millions of people, Think about, how can I get in front of the shoe buyers in this niche, the people who are already automatically buying things? And what you'll do is, you spend a whole lot less on your ads. You can do this, by the way, the same principle on Facebook ads or any other ad platform. But YouTube makes it really easy. You just say, show my ads on this channel. So I went through and made a list of about 30 channels where I know they're selling lots of shoes. So show my ads to these other shoe buyers. So I don't yet have the results. I just launched them today, but I'm pretty confident. At the very least, I'm gonna get in front of the right people. So I gotta let you guys go and go be a parent, but if you're not already subscribed, subscribe and may the force be with you. Zelda, let's get you some shoes, honey. <laughs>